am in the desktop, I can see a blank flip chart. And what I'm looking for is this one allows me to annotate on the desktop. That's a totally separate flip chart. I want to go here to the tools. So I, I'm on the tools. It looks like a wrench and a hammer. And I tap that and everything goes away. And I'm looking for this circle here in the center. It's going to show up right in here. I can move it out of the way. But I want to have pulled up on my computer somewhere, Pearson or the benchmark test or the quiz, something on there. And then these are the two icons that I use. I use the camera and the go back to the flip chart. Camera, go back to flip chart. So I click on camera. I have her on the camera. And then I pick, this is freehand. This is if you want to do as a polygon. I pretty much always use the rectangle. So I click on rectangle, graze it out. I can move this out of the way if I need to. And I'm going to draw, lasso a rectangle around the question I want. I want question number three. So I have these options, snapshot to the current page, new page, or clipboard. If I want to put in PowerPoint or Word, I'll do it on the clipboard. But I'm going to do it to the current page. Excuse me, a new page, new page, new page. Okay, then I want to do question number four. So I got to go back and find that little circly thing. Tap on it. Go to camera. Rectangle. This is in my way. I'm just going to draw a rectangle around question number four here. On here, I have the option to send it to a new page. Go back to my little wheel, camera, rectangle, move this out of my way, draw a rectangle around it, and I want to send that to a new page. So now I'm done, right? I've done my whole benchmark, all 50 questions. I got the whole thing there. I have to one more time go back to the little wheel. And this one that looks like a flip chart sends me back. And once I'm in there, it takes me to the last page. But you can see here's that last one that I sent. So I want to be on the arrow tool. I tap on it one time. And by tap on it once, I get the resizing. This little plus thing in the corner allows me to move. I can move it just by grabbing on it, but I can also move it by taking that little icon. So I'll move it up to the corner or wherever I want it. Do you see how this bottom one has a line in it? It's going to resize it proportionally. So you know it's not stretched out. If you use any of the other ones, it'll make it warped. And I, you see how I can just grab it and drag it where I need to? I want it low so the kids can do it maybe, or I want it high because I'm going to do it. But if I right click, so I'm pushing the button on the pen, I right click on it, I'm going to choose lock. And now it's locked on there. Now, I've, I put in 50 questions. i got to do that 50 times. So I'm going to back up one. Back up. Here's question number four that's way too small. So I tap on it. Resize it. Place it on the page where I want it. Right click. Lock it. Then back up. Next one. Tap on it. Resize it. Drag it where I want it to be, right click, lock it. Okay? And so when I'm done, I mean, I, I have it. I want to make sure I save my flip chart. File, save. Now when I open this up with the kids, the, before I do anything, I, I open it, but then I immediately go file, save as. And then I'm going to just type anything, the date, 